We've been waiting so long for this. We've been so list for weeks. But it's finally time to unbox and give a full honest review of the Jonathan Modular Sofa from Casterly. What you don't see on social media from everyone else posting about this brand is that it comes to you like this. And it's your responsibility and yours alone to unbox it and put it all together. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna try to do this in steps. So I'm gonna open all the boxes first so that I can put the scissors down and move on like an assembly line. I really hope opening the boxes is the hard part because it's not easy. Why would you glue the box shut? I just feel like after paying this price for a sofa, like it should not be in any world, anyone's responsibility, but the people who you paid for the couch to put the couch together. But at least now I feel like I've earned it. That's the box situation we have going on there. These boxes are massive. Okay, let's flip this one over. You're wondering where my husband is. I told him not to help me. I like doing this stuff, you know? It's fun for me. Can't you tell I'm having fun? I like to pretend like I'm a handyman. One day I would like to be one. This is my first step to practice. If I can't do this by myself, how am I supposed to sand and stain the floors by myself? <laughs> Okay, the last box is off. So I'm just gonna arrange them, I guess, in the way that they're supposed to be arranged. Yeah, it's moving like right now. I like that they're not like super bright. Yeah, okay, this is good. Yeah, no, this is good. <laughs> I was worried that they were gonna be like the color of the Right, walls. right. Yeah, it was looking like it. I mean, I like them like that. But I was worried, like, but I like that there's a little bit of texture. It's ready to go. Oh, yeah, you turn it out like that. So put it. God, actually, let me just finish one thing, so yeah, I yeah. just I keep like, getting excited. This is, <laughs> okay, well, the good news is, is the little pieces at the bottom of the chairs are already put together, so we don't have to assemble that. So the, they really do come ready, so the hardest part is unboxing them, I guess, but other than that, they seem like they're ready. I don't know. I still feel like they should have done that for us. We've ran into a dreaded, dreaded nightmare. What if it doesn't fit? I think it might not. Are you being for real? I'm being for real! Push that all the way to the end of the wall because it wasn't all the way to the end. Oh no, it will fit. It'll fit literally perfectly, which is insane. Maybe. I think we are short by a centimeter. If we waited, like, what, David, two months for this couch for it to not fit and I took out all those boxes? But I think it will fit. But if it fits, it's just luck. Ugh! It's so close, babe, but it's not gonna fit. Okay, but that's the picture. You, you could do it however you want to do it, you know? I just, it's not fine to me. I'm sorry. It's not fine. So take one out and put it there. Yeah, I mean, we have to. I mean, it would look bad. It's gonna look bad. All right, this is the final product. I think they look really good. I feel like the quality is really nice. I mean, it didn't fit the way I wanted it to, but I think that's okay. And that was our bad for not measuring, but it fits. If it's well overall so that's a benefit of a modular sofa is that you can kind of mix and match it the way you need to and the way you want to that is the chase that we also got which will end up moving i'm sure to where we'll end up sitting the most so over there in that corner um, and then we'll put an end table in that corner i think it looks pretty good david was just observing that it doesn't look as white as it did when we ordered it online we thought it would be like a very bright white but it's white but like off white and it has it's a little bit feathered which is really nice so i thought you know we were both thinking that if you like even touched it with clean fingers you're the color of your skin would show up on the couch, but it's not like that at all. It's definitely a little bit more durable than we were anticipating, which is nice, but I think it still needs to be treated with fabric protector. It feels really firm. It feels really strong, which is good. I hope it stays that way. It is low profile, but it doesn't feel too low. When you first see it, you're like, holy guacamole, like that looks so low compared to like normal sofas that we grew up with. When you're sitting here, it feels really comfortable and, and really casual and laid back and really nice. So overall, I would say it is so much unpacking on behalf of the customer. And me personally, I hate that. I just feel like I paid for it. It's one thing if I was buying something off of Wayfair that's cheaper. Like I don't mind doing that obviously, or Ikea, I anticipate putting furniture together and I'm okay with that. But the one time and the only time that we've ever spent a little bit more money because we don't do that frequently ever. But the one time that we do, I feel like I should have the white glove delivery. Like you should unpack it for me. You know, and Wayfair did that for us once and it was a budget item. Like I feel like they should do it for us. 
too. So that's my only complaint. Otherwise, I feel like it's good, but ask me again in three, six, nine, 12 months and we'll let you know how it holds up so far. It looks really good and I think maybe it was worth all the unpacking. Overall, I would say this one is worth the hype. It is the first and only item we've bought from Casterly. So it's the only experience we have with this company and their quality, but we are overall very pleasantly surprised. It's a very firm sofa and the material and fabric is feathered. So while it's very light in color, the feathering helps make it a little bit more durable and a little bit more livable. I'm typically not a fan of feathered fabrics, but you, this one is very subtle. It almost appears even more subtle in person than it does on camera. I mentioned it before that it's extremely low profile, so it was not your standard height couch but the low pro profile offers a very luxury feel and it's really comfortable first impressions are really really positive but i am interested to see how this holds up over the course of you know years because the sofa is something that you hold on to for quite a while and we don't plan on getting a new one anytime soon so hopefully that this continues to hold up and keeps its shape and its firmness which is one of my biggest complaints about sofas and couches and other places is that they don't tend to hold up their shape. I hope this review was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you're interested in seeing follow-ups, just let me know and I'll make sure to bring them your way. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.